Hey guys, uh, Joey here again. Um, today I'm going to be talking to you about the PVC overflow. As you can see from one of my previous videos uh, of the PVC overflow, uh, the pieces and parts, uh, how to put it together, how, to, how it functions, how to get it working, um, that's what this video is going to be about also. But this video is actually going to concentrate on why it works, how much it costs, um, what gallons uh, per hour should you expect to receive given a certain uh, diameter of PVC as well as why would you use a PVC overflow so let's start with why you would use one the main reasons is uh, because of cost it's very cheap to use and do it's also very easy to make um, second reason is uh, because uh, well, again, the cost. Um, instead of purchasing a hang-on-the-back overflow, which is generally $100 or more, uh, the PVC overflow only costs a small fraction of that. Um, another important and major reason is because you do not have to drill your tank or make any permanent changes to your tank like that. Some people don't want to make any permanent changes, while others cannot do not and cannot have a, a drilled tank. They simply don't know how or don't have the means to get it done. So this is a great alternative if you'd like to have a sump but just simply don't have the uh, the uh, the tools to um, to plumb your tank. Okay, um, now we're going to talk about gallons per hour and diameter size and price at the end of the video. But right now we're going to talk about why this works. Um, now, as you can tell in the uh, pictures here, uh, let's imagine that the PVC overflow is actually hanging on the side of an aquarium. The white uh, pipe is obviously the PVC, um, and the yellow uh, the yellow line is the uh, rim of the aquarium. Um, now this is actually the shape of the PVC overflow. It's just expanded and, and laid out so you can see it better. Now what happens when you start pumping water into your aquarium and filling your aquarium is the PVC pipe does have no ha has no water in it until you actually prime it. Um, but initially starting this up, this is what's going to happen. Your, your tank's going to start to fill with water. As soon as the water level gets to the top of the PVC inlet pipe that's on the inside of your tank, water starts to flow down it. Um, it doesn't take long to fill that pipe up, but as soon as it fills up the inside loop, that's as far as it goes. You could pump as much water as you want into the tank and nothing's going to happen other than flooding your tank. Um, once you... Um, install your your check valve which is actually used to prime the overflow you are able to um, prime the uh, overflow and get it functioning um, now the purpose of the check valve is um, pretty pretty straightforward um, a check valve itself it's a one-way check valve it allows you to suck air out of the uh, PVC but no air can flow back in in this case you can suck out air or water it doesn't matter um, so to prime the overflow, you simply suck on the um, on the uh, sorry the check valve, and uh, that sucks the air uh, out of the overflow and allows water to be sucked into the overflow, filling it. Um, once water starts flowing in, water will try to fill the entire PVC pipe until it reaches the top rim. Um, the, I'm sorry, the top loop of the overflow. At that point. Um, it can't flow up any higher um, because the overflow, that standpipe, is actually taller than the rest of it. Gravity is going to kick in before it even, ever gets to the uh, top loop, but generally it will sometimes get to the top loop. Once gravity kicks in, uh, water is going to be sucked back down and water will flow out. And it will flow out in a continuous motion. Now if you didn't have this, this PVC overflow uh, design like this, for example, if you did not have that uh, tall standpipe, you'd be creating a suction, uh, basically a suction pipe. You, you, it wouldn't be an overflow. Overflow means water overflowing out of the um, aquarium. Imagine filling up a bathtub and, until it overflows with water. Now, suction would mean you pull the plug on the um, bathtub and water simply sucks out until it's gone. That's what uh, That would be a, a similar difference. Um, now this is the overflow. What happens when your water level actually drops or say the power goes out is um, water immediately stops flowing out of the overflow. Um, 
Now the inside of the aquarium is where the water level is going to be. As you can see it, um, at the top loop is, um, is the set water level. Um, once power shuts off, obviously water is going to drop slightly below that inner loop and uh, water will stop flowing out of the overflow. Now the inside uh, tube does drain of water but only to the bottom of it like you see here. So only the inside loop uh, is filled with water. To start your overflow back up again you simply fill your tank back up um, which it should already be but uh, once your power comes back on or you plug your pump back in um, the overflow is already primed and full of water so it's going to start itself back up and you don't have to uh, prime it again. Okay, so that's basically uh, how it functions and why it functions. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the gallons per hour and cost. Okay, so here we have the, um, the estimated gallons per hour that each uh, diameter uh, PVC should be able to handle. Uh, for example, a three-quarter inch PVC overflow should be able to do around 220 gallons an hour, uh, give or take. Um, uh, so, as you can see, if you go up to as high as uh, a one-inch overflow, you're going to get 375 gallons an hour. Um, now, to match your gallons per hour to your pump, I suggest doubling your needed uh, overflow as opposed to the gallons per hour. So if you have a, a pump that's able to pump 500 gallons an hour, you should probably have an overflow um, that could pump uh, 500 gallons per hour each. So you'll need two overflows, uh, two one and a quarter inch overflows to handle a 500 gallon an hour pump. The reason being is because if one overflow clogs or gets plugged or something like that, a fish dies, gets sucked into it, something like that, you can simply have the rest of the flow go to the um, alternate overflow um, without um, causing your tank to flood. Um, now on to price. Price is a bit touchy. Uh, reason being is because it's highly variable depending on your area. Um, I'm in eastern Canada so prices for things just tend to be crazy um, compared to what I hear other people paying for things. Um, but here's an estimation of uh, the different measurements. Um, so if you're going to be making, for example, a half inch overflow, you can expect to pay $5 per 6 inches of tank height. Um, you'll need, um, so a 12 inch tank would cost you around uh, 10 bucks if you want to do a half inch overflow which is exactly what it cost me. Uh, this is only a rough estimate. You might pay more, but you're probably going to pay less. From what I'm hearing, um, PVC is a lot cheaper in the States, for example, in some areas. Um, now, how much PVC will you need? You'll need approximately two feet of PVC, plus all the required connections, per six inches of tank height. So, for example, if you have a two-foot-tall tank, you'll need eight feet of PVC approximately uh, to complete your uh, do-it-yourself overflow. Um, now, uh, six feet of PVC, I'm sorry, eight feet of PVC, plus uh, the cost of that, say, for example, if you're doing a one-inch overflow, should cost you around, around 30 bucks to do a uh, one inch overflow for a 24 inch tall tank. Uh, so again these are just guidelines but the gallons per hour um, and how much of PVC you'll need per six inches of tank height are pretty accurate. The prices again are are just a, a very rough estimate of what you might need or what we might pay. Anyways uh, that's the PVC overflow. Uh, I think I've explained it as much as I could. Um, if you have any more comments or questions, just comment below or feel free to inbox me. Um, anyways, uh, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you can, subscribe to me as well for some more videos just like this one. Anyways, thanks for watching.